We'll go live to Boston for the latest on the storm in just a minute. But first, the leader of the so-called Amish cult says he's ready to face punishment. Sam Mullet said he is old and he's willing to take the punishment for the entire group. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was in federal court when Mullet learned his fate. Well, 67-year-old Sam Mullet Sr. had no choice but to be ready to go to prison today. The question was, for how long? They're just religious thugs, um, religious terrorism. Federal Judge Dan Aaron Polster obviously agreed with those comments from Holmes County Prosecutor Steve Noling that Sam Mullet and his followers trampled on the constitutional right of religious freedom. Mullet got 15 years in prison after 14 of his followers were convicted of cutting the hair and beards, religious symbols for many Amish, during middle of the night home invasions, even taking pictures of the attacks. 14 other men and women convicted along with Mullet got one to seven years. Relatives of the victim said, What Sam Muller did is not right. It makes the Amish people look bad. And we just hope that justice prevails today. Defense attorneys tried to paint the attacks as family fights over a custody battle and not religious hate crimes. The jury, and now the judge, didn't buy it. And these attacks left the victims beaten, bloodied, and bruised. They were no mere haircuts like you get going down to the barber shop. Several defendants offered to serve Mullet's sentence. U.S. Attorney Steve Dettelbach commended prosecutors, the FBI, and all investigators, then let Mullet and his crew have it. Defendant after defendant after defendant would stand there and offer yet again to sacrifice his or her own life for Mr. Mullet is just proof of what we said all along. Mr. Mullet is a cult leader. Mr. Mullet is a thug, Mr. Mullet is a bully, and Mr. Mullet belongs where criminals belong in federal prison. Justice will serve. I believe if Sam Mullet is put away for a long time, that it'll take care of the problem, that the other people will get the help that they need, and they won't have to worry about being controlled with an iron fist by Sam Mullet. And Holmes County Prosecutor Steve Nolan went on to say today that the Amish that live in his community will sleep easier tonight knowing that Mullet will spend the next 15 years in prison and would be 82 years old when he gets out. Live from the federal courthouse, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.